Hey guys, welcome to a new season of Extreme Flyways. Guess what? It's hunting season. We're fired up. We were born for such a time as this. Today, we're going dove hunting. The team's excited. We got the Berettas. They're ready to bark. This is Extreme Flyways. You know, when you're sitting at home over the summer and spring, six, seven months, and you haven't been able to go duck hunting, shooting thing, do any waterfowl hunting as you, uh, you can speak of, the first real big season that comes in here is dove. And that's an opportunity to get our family and friends together. We go out, we have a good time. We're not as serious as we are when we're out there duck hunting. The reason I think we need to go dove hunting every year is to get, you know, get used to getting up in the morning like we do during duck season. And, uh, you know, stuff like that. And then, it's first wing shooting of the year also. Man, I love dove season. It's a chance to get your family out and get out and dust some feathers before the duck season comes in. The reason we go dove hunting in the fall is it's the first season to come up and we're antsy by then. We're ready to kill something. And I don't know of a better way to get out there and get the bugs and kinks worked out and figure out what you're doing wrong. This year, the dove were kind of through for a spin just like we were. Last spring, we had so much rain that the farmers wasn't able to get their crops planted early enough. So what does that mean? Usually a cornfield or a milo field that's been picked and bush hogged wasn't. I mean, we had a good time. The birds were falling. The kids had a blast. The dogs got to work. And that's what we're out here for. For me, dove season is short-lived. And we're out there for two, maybe three weeks dove hunting. And it's a great time for you and all your buddies to get out there, have fun. And it's not really serious whenever you're out there dove hunting like what it will be when you come into duck season. When it comes to duck hunting, it's time to put all that stuff in the closet and get your game on. All right guys, what I'm just gonna show you is the one, two, three method. Now I know this sounds simple and it may help you, it may not help you, but in my experience, the people that I have shown how to do this, it's helped them tremendously in the field. There's a difference between competition shooting and shooting when you're hunting. When you're competition shooting, you're, you're usually at an already ready position. In other words, all you basically have to do is bring the gun to your shoulder, find a skeet, boom. When you're duck hunting, dove hunting, whatever you're doing as far as in the field, you're starting at a safety position, which usually means the gun's in between your legs or it's across your lap. Now, when I say one, two, three method, this is what I mean. The gun's in between my legs. This is where I like to keep it when I'm hunting. What I do is I count up the steps that I have to do either verbally or in my head before I shoot. So example, number one would be to me to bring the gun up, okay? Number two is my finger's gonna slide down this safety, take the safety off as the gun is coming to my shoulder. I find the bird, find, find whatever I'm shooting at, and number three is, boom, I fire the weapon. Now, the major problem that people have is when they bring the gun up in the blind, they tend to do it too fast and they don't extend their arms out to bring the butt stock to their shoulder. So what they end up doing is they bring it up to their chest and it ends up getting caught 80% of the time either on a piece of clothing. And I've even seen people not even bring the gun up to their shoulder, but it gets logged underneath their armpit and they still fire the weapon. This is not number one safe. And number two, it's not the proper method in order for you to be a successful duck, bird hunter, duck hunter, whatever it may be. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna practice coming up from, a, from our safety position and we want to extend the gun out, extend it out so that the butt stock can come easily to my shoulder and my cheek down on the gun. So that's the one, two, one, two, one, two. If you'll practice this, I promise you, it'll make you a more accurate marksman. No matter what flying animal you're shooting, that one, two, quick as you can, one, two, boom, three. One, two, boom, three. A 
Another reason we like to do our early season dove hunt is to get them dogs out, get, get some work under their belt. The things I like to work on during dove season is your basic fundamentals of shooting, which is your lead and follow through and, and getting your head down on that, on that barrel. Being able to safely get my gun from the ground or whatever position it's in to my shoulder and me be able to bead that duck, that's going to make me, I mean, an extreme waterfowler. That's what's going to make me stand above everybody else in that blind with me. I promise, if you'll do this during dove season and you'll work on that one, two, three method that I showed you, it'll make you a more successful hunter. Whew. Now that right there was a lot of fun. Hey, listen, I want to encourage you to join us next week. We're going teal hunting. Guess what? We're going to be talking about how to make a marsh sheet, Larry White style. We're going to be talking about how to scout for teal. You don't want to miss this show. Listen, we got to cool them down tonight. Give me something to drink. Remember, this is Extreme Flyway.